In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today we celebrate the visitation of the Virgin Mary to St. John the Baptist. No, no. The visit of the Virgin Mary to her cousin, Zechariah, who was pregnant. No, to Elizabeth, her cousin, who was pregnant. Where have I got to? Sorry. I've had so much marking to do. (laughs) I can't think properly. And then there have been bishop's letters and... Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. What's going on here? This is a real mess. (laughs) Here. You call yourself a tutor in doctrine and you can't even preach a sermon? You know what? It's going mad up there. The prayer switchboard is absolutely jammed. There are all sorts of people praying about your preaching, and I have to say, they're all being very complimentary. Especially that guy over there in the back row. Anyway, I'm here to sort things out. Uh. (laughs) You must be... You must be... An angel or an archangel? Uh, The archangel Michael. Funny you should say that. (laughs) I'm often mistaken for the archangel Michael, or Mike as he likes to be called these days. (laughs) You know, people often think I look a bit like him. Anyway, uh, let me give you a clue. You know this Zachariah chap, you know, we had in the Gospel? Well, I did come and see him once, and after that he couldn't speak. Any idea? Okay, all right. You are the Archangel Gabriel. The Archangel Gabriel, that's absolutely right, yes. How exciting. Well, my goodness. <laughs> I've never met a real, well, I've never met a real angel, never mind an Archangel. It's pretty exciting. And uh, a kind of once in a lifetime opportunity, really, because, well, I come to church to find out about God, and what could be more like God? than an archangel. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a pretty tall order, my mortal friend, to be honest. (laughs) Well, I mean, uh, God is uh, powerful, and you're powerful. I am powerful. That is absolutely (laughs) true. (laughs) And, you know, God is powerful, but that's not the most important thing about God. Um, No, but you are rather like God, uh, because... um, God doesn't have to think that hard about knowing things. He just sees everything in one go, and angels don't have to think too hard and see everything in one go. I read that in a book. Yeah, that, that, that's, um, that's absolutely true, you know. I mean, in many ways, I'm much more like God than you are. But, <laughs> for example, I'm immaterial. I mean, I don't have a body. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> you don't look that immaterial to me. Well, I'll tell you what, oh, I'll tell you what, if you'd read your Thomas Aquinas, you'd know that I've only put this body on for your sake. Anyway, uh, you're right, in, in, in many, many ways, what us angels, we, we point to what God is like, but in many ways, we can't. Uh, let, let me just try and explain. Where do you come from? Uh, Yorkshire. No, 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 no. Where did you originally come from? My parents. Exactly, exactly. Parents. You see, the thing is, I don't have any parents. Oh. I don't have any brothers. I don't have any sisters. In fact, I don't have any children. But you see, the thing is, Human beings do. And that's where you'll find the true image of God. Uh, I still don't get it. Okay. Remember those pregnant women in the gospel? Huh? Yeah, well, think about that. Yep. Hang on, yep. hang on. I'll tell you, I've got a better idea. Don't bore you. <laughs> but I'd come up here with me for a minute. Okay, right, let's go over here, over here. Let's buy that candle, it'll be lovely. Thank you very much. Now, O oh mortal one, what do we have here? Um, a mother and a child. Exactly. And this is the image, the most Im- perfect image of what God is really about. You see, 
Human beings are born of human beings. And God the Son is born of God the Father. You get it? I do <laughs> get it. <laughs> so, God is powerful, but that's not the most interesting thing about him. And God can see everything in one go, but that doesn't really get to the heart of it. And yep. God's immaterial, even more immaterial than you are. And that's not really the most important thing either. But the secret thing, the really interesting thing, is that God is Father and Son, and the Son proceeds from the Father. Excellent. Brilliant. Thanks very much. Good. Well, I'm off now, then. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. There's something missing. So, God the Father and God the Son, what's missing? BTH 28E. The Holy Spirit. So, what about the Holy Spirit? Well, well, well. You're not such a bad tutor in doctrine after all. Do you like me to show you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, where's the Holy Spirit? Well, come, come here, I'll show you. Do you mind just staying there for just a sec? Come, oh, up here, up here. We mind, need you, to... mind your wings. Oh, gosh, what the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go up there? Okay. Yeah. Got a good view? Yep. Yeah. Right. Now, look very carefully. When you see two people that are really in love, you can almost see the love between them. Yeah, I think that's true. Well, the love between God the Son and God the Father was so perfect that it was, a, it was like it was a real person between them. A real person that is equal to the Father and the Son. And that love, that love is called the Holy Spirit. And whenever you see a parent and a child, we get the image of the Father and the Son. And whenever we see people that love each other, you might know for a second, you might catch a glimpse of the Holy Spirit. I tell you what, why don't you get back to your sermon? Okay, so let me think. Now, um, where was I? Well, I think we might have said everything that needs to be said. So, we're at the end. So, to God, the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be thanks and praise, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>